In this tutorial, we're going to go over the Gluon Scene Builder, how you and download and install it and hook it up to IntelliJ and the Oracle version of NetBeans. Let's get started. I want to install Scene Builder today, so this is a Gluon product. So we're going to head over to the Gluon page and install uh, Scene Builder by clicking on the appropriate installer for your application. All right, we'll go ahead and accept the terms, just like uh, any normal application. We're going to choose where we're going to install it. I'm going to put it in program files. Remember where you put this. We can see Scene Builder correctly installed here. We've got Scene Builder up and going. Before we get into this, though, let's uh, see how we connect it to our IntelliJ IDE. So we'll open up IntelliJ. We're going to go to File, Settings. Then we're going to go to Languages and Frameworks, Java FX, and our path to Scene Builder needs to be set in here. And now if you were to open up an FXML, we should have the ability to right click on this and scroll down and be able to say open in scene builder. And now we can edit our code in scene builder. Now we're going to hook up scene builder and that means just like we did in IntelliJ, we're going to go to tools and options. Now we need to go to the Java section and Java FX, and here's where you, where you will set your path to the Scene Builder executable. And when you run this, you'll see that actually if you double click on the FXML file, this will open up Scene Builder by default. A little bit default, beha different behavior than IntelliJ. And that's all there is to it.